The two men were armed. They announced their intent to rape her. They were advancing rapidly for the attack. Her shooting was justified at law. However, each scenario is different, and sometimes it will not be legally justified for you to even display, much less present your weapon. But at least she did not shoot the deaf guy. In the first scenario out, about half the students do. Think about that. Watch this next scenario. The people are drunk and very obnoxious. They even hurl racial epithets. But none of this behavior justifies the display, much less drawing of a firearm. Watch. Hey! I, uh, I, uh, I remember you. Come on. Yeah, you don't know guys. We're really tired of wine. Why don't you come drink it with No, it's okay. I'm going to go that way, guys. Huh? Yeah. Oh, come on. I'm no, going to go that way, guys. Hey, go ahead. Where are you from, man? I'm from Australia. You look like a chink to me! Nah, I'm half Chinese. Come have a drink. No, it's good, man. Well, I'm half Chinese. I guess you're half man, huh? Okay. That's why you won't come drinking with it. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. I gotta go now. I oh, think it's a good to drink for us, you know. Come on, okay. Come on. It's okay. Come on. Hey, you. Hey. Hey. I don't want any trouble. Hey. I don't want any trouble. Back off. Huh? I don't want any These are real guns, but they are firing low velocity rubber bullets, so the instructors know exactly when, where, and if they are hit, and they respond accordingly. But first in the training, point shooting skills are developed using a special cartridge that fires only a laser beam each time the trigger is pulled on a real gun. In some scenarios, you will use very realistic blank guns, or you may be fired on with these blank guns. This level of realism is unprecedented in civilian and even in most police training, but it will best prepare you for an actual crisis. Some of the drills you will do at stress shooting are designed to alert you to a danger that you may not have fully appreciated before. For example, a knifer starting his attack from 23 feet away can most often stab the untrained person before that person can use his gun to stop the attack. No, right. oh, come on, ah, ah, ah. This was the student's first attempt at the drill. He made the mistake of retreating on the attack line and was stabbed. You will learn potentially life-saving solutions to these problems. Let's watch another person try this drill for the first time. <laughs> to turn one's back from danger is a natural reflex, but watch how proper training can replace that reflex with one that succeeds. I'm not sure, man. I'm, I don't know what time it is right you now. Don't? Yeah, oh. You have to ask somebody else. Where are you? I'm really sorry. Yeah. <laughs> After just about 10 minutes of instruction and some slow motion practice, she is now able to survive the knife attack, whereas before she most certainly would not have. This man uses the same technique, but he was overrun by the kniper the first time out, too. But now, you can see he has enough time to draw and fire before the attacker makes contact. You must be aware of a problem before you discover the need for a solution. Would you have thought that a person from more than 20 feet away could rush a person and stab them before they could draw their gun to stop it? Scenario-based training like this will allow you to discover the real problems involved in using a gun to defend yourself or your loved ones. And you will learn solutions to each of these problems as well. The scenarios are really where you learn to use a gun prudently, lawfully, but effectively under stress. 
and if it should ever come to a real self-defense situation, that adrenal rush into your bloodstream and brain is a certainty, and your training must prepare you for it by experiencing it. On our range, you will become familiar with a variety of weapons in live fire exercises. You must also have some basic hand-to-hand -hand skills to be able to get to your gun in an emergency, and especially if involved in an upper body struggle with an assailant. You must also know how to retain your weapon as well. Our exclusive Predator Armored Assailant allows you to really learn this too, because you need hold nothing back and you can strike with absolute full power in the drills. We have more than 23 years of experience teaching with this armor and are internationally known for our hand-to-hand -hand self defense program. But you need not participate in this brief part of the training if you do not feel you should. Above all, we are not running any macho boot camp here. We know people learn best and most quickly when they have the total mutual support of the group and despite the necessary intensity of some elements of the training are basically having a good time while learning. Your chief instructor at stress shooting is former Marine Recon team leader Bill Kipp. Bill is the founder of the internationally acclaimed FAST self-defense training system and he is the author of the best-selling book Turning Fear into Power. Personally, I know that there is no one with his depth of experience in teaching and designing adrenal stress driven scenario based training programs. Also instructing will be myself, Peyton Quinn. I have written a number of books myself on self-defense, self-improvement, and recently even my own translation of the 16th century samurai Musashi's Book of Five Rings. Bill and I have worked together for many years and we are truly confident that for most people's purposes our stress shooting firearms training program is second to none. It is second to none because it is based on the same adrenal stress conditioning instructional model as our unarmed self-defense program that we jointly developed so many years ago and that continues to attract people from many parts of the world. Stress shooting also follows the same total immersion model as our internationally recognized hand-to-hand -hand combat program. You will have a very good time here, and it is quite an adventure too in the magnificence of our Rocky Mountain Training Center. And you will leave here far better prepared to defend yourself and your loved ones. We generally limit the class to just eight persons. To apply, please go to our online application page and then email it to us. We will get back to you within two days. Peace be with you, and we hope to see you in Colorado soon.